welcome to the channel. Um, we're going to continue building our app, our color match app, and uh, right now you're looking at the finished article. So um, what we're going to do today is build the random color generating function. Um, what I'm talking about is if you can look at Sakoli on the right, um, if we reset, it gives us a different color. That's a different shade of green. That's, uh, I'm guessing, what? Um, looks like bluish, blue and gray had a child. That's a light shade of green. That's another shade of green. That's whatever that is. So yeah, so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do is build the, the function that generates this, this color over here. Uh, let's get started. First, we we'll stop this and uh, we we'll quit Android Studio and we go back to our project where we left it and we create let's create a class that will generate for us um, the random colors. We can come here and um, get a new class. We can call it unique color generator okay and um we need to think it through we would need um we would need to do the color class from that of course and we would need um random colors generated so first thing we could do is go to flutter dev and look at the color class and um Yes, so this is the color class on Flutter Dev. And uh, we go to the constructor and we can find color, color from RGB and color from RGBO. And now we could use either of this, but RGBO is the one which lends itself the most, maybe that and um, ARGB, to the use of our sliders. So color from RGBO, this one takes four parameters. The first one being red, green, uh, and then blue and the fourth one being opacity. Opacity is about the transparency or the um, Yeah, the transparency with zero zero being uh, most transparent and 1.0 being fully opaque so That's what we're going to use and um, it takes a value from 0 to 255 if you remember with our sliders our sliders take the same values so this would be something this would be perfect for what we were designing. And uh, how do we generate the random numbers? The random numbers that we will feed into this so that they can generate the color. Um, we could look at, uh, 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 at random, how we can get random numbers using the, the, the dot math class, right? So we could search here for random so we can figure it out random class which is from that math and um, the random class um, uh, we could use either next uh, let's look at the methods we have next bool which returns a boolean value which is true or false next double which returns 0 to 1.0 next int next int returns a value from 0 to max which is in the, the integer exclusive so we'd get something like 0 to next int of 256, right? We would get a method that would generate um, a number from 0 to 255 and then we can feed it so that it can return a random color. That has been a lot of talking. I think now it is time that we write code. So there are two things we need to do. First, we need um, to create a function that generates random numbers and to pass that into the color from RGBO method from the color class. And yeah, that's what we could do. Um, instead of doing this separately, we could just do it at the same time. And um, this would look like this. We would first import the, the math library. Um, this is where the random class is. And then we would import flutter, uh, flutter material dot because that's where we would use the color class. And then we can create a class. We can call it 
Unique Collagenator, and yeah, and we would give it static methods. I'm using, I'm creating this um, this variable as static because I want to use it in a static method. Um, random, which equals random. Uh -huh. And then we put the semicolon. Remember, this is that has to go with semicolons. Then we create a static method. We could call this static. Um, it returns uh, type color. Uh, we could call it get color. Yeah. And it would return return color dot from RGBO and from RGBO yeah this would be random dot next int which would be 256 right and then next you would have random dot next int 256 right and then blue would be run random dot next int 256 and um because you have three sliders and i think that it's already um the odds are already against you. It's almost insurmountable that you're going to get a color right from 16 million. We're going to set the opacity defaulted to 1 so that we don't have a slider for opacity. Although, if you want to increase the difficulty and complexity of the app, you could create a specific slider using the random, I believe it's random dot next double next double you could use this method you see it doesn't take um, a parameter because it, uh, it gives you a number between 0 and 1 and the uh, opacity is supposed to be between 0, 0.0 to 1 it's a double but let's just assume that the colors have full opacity and just give return a 1 like this right I think it would be fairest because it's already going to be difficult enough although I would let it um, if somebody wants to make the, the app a bit more challenging and stuff, you can do it. But um, ours is just going to have three. One for the, the first one is for the red, the next one is for the green, and the next one is for the blue. This will give you a number between 0 and 256 inclusive, right? Right. Um, I just realized that because the random.nextInt method returns a number from 0 to the number in the parameter inclusive, this number should actually be 255, not 256. So we would hit, two, we would put 255 there, another 255 there, another one there, and uh, the method should be like this. That way, um, we get a number from 0 to 255. The total numbers in consideration are 256, but the number here should be 255. So the proof is in the pudding, right? As they say. And um, the best way to do it, uh, to check if this works, is actually to try it out. So to do that, we would come to home and um, under app bar, we'd put a body and uh, text. And the text, you can put a string, we could say good. And um, give it a bit of style, the color. You would have a text style of color and the color should be from the unique color generator right and um dot get color now um the reason we were using a static method let me say this the reason we were using a static method here is that um it can be called without being instantiated that is the advantage of using a static method so that's why we use the static method and uh, we use a static um where is it and we use a static uh, variable here in random so that we can use the uh, random in the static uh, method. You need a static variable to use in a static method. 
So to check it out, I'm good, we see good, but it's a bit small. Let's jack it up a bit. Uh, we could put font size, give it a 40, put a comma here. Yeah, we have good. And uh, let's try and um, let's see if the color changes. Okay. The color is a bit green now. Color is a light shade of green. So we do see the color changing. So this means that the, the unique color generator works, right? You see it keeps changing color. Uh, stuck with the green, so you're not getting a red. Anyway, the color generator clearly works and uh, because we're passing the color to the text and uh, as you can see here, the text changes uh, color. So I think um, we have achieved the goals for today, um, as always. Like and subscribe and comment and inform me how I can make my code better. As always, we should always improve each other's code. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Waga and see you in the next one.